DHCP provides more information than just allocated IP addresses. It returns the IP address of the first hop router for the client to connect to the internet. It can also return the name and IP address of the DNS server, and it returns the network mask. The configuration file at the DHCP server can also be used to provide links for automatic upgrades and plug and play software downloads from the network. The question that might come up is that where in the protocol stack is the DHCP protocol? It runs as an application protocol which uses the UDP protocol for the transport layer. So, for example, when you connect your laptop to a network using a Wi Fi access point you connect to, your laptop needs an IP address with subnet mask, address of the first hop router, and the address of the DNS server. It will use DHCP for receiving these information. The DHCP request will be encapsulated in UDP, then an IP, then an 802.11, which is the Wi Fi data link layer protocol, and sent over the wireless link. The Ethernet frame will be broadcast on LAN, which we will see the details of its working in the data link layer discussions, and received at the router running DHCP server. It will be DMOX to IP, to UDP, and DHCP at the server. DHCP response from the DHCP server goes through a similar process. Server encapsulates it using UDP, IP, then link layer protocol with the same process and sends it to the client. Decapsulate it again at the client, the client finds out its IP address and the other information from the application layer message of the DHCP. This figure shows request and reply messages for a DHCP communication. You can try capturing your own DHCP messages by running Wireshark on your laptop while connecting to a new Wi-Fi network.